Fox 5 Super Build is sponsored by these proud partners. Hey guys, so yes, we're here at Gary Reese Freedom Park and you all remember from last year's Super Build. Well, this year we're tackling the playground and I'm specifically saying that word tackling because right now we're here with Raider alum, Keith Moody. Now, Keith, tell me the Raiders, you guys are always about helping out the community initiatives like this. Why did you want to partner with us like this for Super Build? Well, I think it's important for players to remember kind of where they came from. Personally, I uh, started my career athletically with the Girls and Boys Club or Boys and Girls Club. Yeah. And uh, people took the time and invested in me, and I wanted to do the same for the youth here in this area. So I'm really pleased to be part of this whole project. And, and it's also something that the Raider Foundation and the Raider organization really encourage. And it's, you know, there's a lot of organizations, a lot of sports franchises, but the Raiders have always been about the community. Why is this such a fabric? Why, why is that just part of the cloth of what the Raider way is all about? Well, I think it comes from the top. Um, I was there with the Raiders a long time ago, and Al Davis was still there. And Al was a community kind of guy. He really cared about people. And I think Mark has carried on that tradition. I mean, if you look at the situation right now that we've dealt with this year with COVID, you know, Mark said, unless we can get everybody in yeah. there, nobody's going to go. And he, he doesn't even attend. And so it's, uh, you know, it's something that they're committed to as an organization, as a family, and as ownership. It's a great thing. And, you know, when the Las Vegas Raiders are involved, that means we can do this in a big way. I got to say, you know, Parks, being a professional athlete, you must have played in so many parks growing up. You definitely accrued those 10,000 hours. Tell me, you know, to be able to revitalize this park, how great is it going to be for kids? I think it's fantastic because kids come to the park and, and you know, they don't have a lot of resources of their own. So the park really has to provide, the community has to provide, uh, the cities have to provide. And so for these kids to have this all renovated and revitalized will mean a lot. It'll make them feel good about themselves. And when you have that positive self-esteem, you know, the sky's the limit. There you go. And before I let you go, you knew I wasn't going to be able to let you <laughs> leave without doing this. The park's not looking super pretty yet. Can you just flash us that Super Bowl <laughs> ring for us so we get a little bit of that that, well, that, I can show you the little Super Bowl ring from 40 <laughs> years ago. They're now about the size of uh, clocks, but this was uh, something that was a real highlight for my athletic career and meant the world to me back then and still does. And I think the proudest moment was when Al Davis came over to me in the locker room after the Super Bowl and said, now you can go back to Syracuse and show them what a Super Bowl ring looks like. <laughs> see, there yes, you, you go. Know, Al is a Syracuse alumni. <laughs> see, was. we got to see the Super Bowl ring. Keith, thanks for being with us this okay. morning. We appreciate it. Guys, I'll toss it back to you in the studio. Ah, that's so cool. Thanks, Mike.